Just imagine the shock waves in the auto industry when the CEO of a major car maker steps onto the stage and declares that their most secretive, most talked about engine isn't just a rumor, it's real. That's exactly what just happened. Mercedes has finally confirmed the existence of the Yasa Flux engine, an innovation that until now was surrounded only by speculation and whispers. This isn't just another engine. It's being described as so powerful and so radically different that giants like Tesla, BYD, and Toyota might soon be losing sleep over it. If this technology truly makes its way into cars, it could disrupt not only petrol and diesel, but even today's electric battery systems, flipping the entire industry on its head. But here's the burning question. What exactly makes this engine so special? Is it truly the breakthrough the auto world has been chasing for years? or just another futuristic promise that will vanish with time. And if it does deliver on its claims, could Tesla's long-standing EV dominance finally be at risk? Stick around because in this video, we're uncovering the hidden truths that could redefine the future of mobility. Trust me, by the end, you'll be questioning everything you thought you knew about automobiles. And before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe so you're always the first to catch these groundbreaking updates. Behind every revolutionary leap lies years of research, trial, and unspoken strategy. The Yasa Flux engine is no exception. While many believe it appeared out of nowhere, the reality is very different. Mercedes has been quietly perfecting this technology for years. No flashy headlines, no bold promises, just relentless work behind the curtain. And now that silence has turned into their ultimate masterstroke. If we look back, a wave of electric cars started rising all over the world between 2010 and 2015. Tesla showed with its models at that time that EVs were not only the future, but also the present. During this time it became clear to Mercedes that if they wanted to maintain their hold in the future, they should not rely only on batteries. They had to revolutionize motor technology as well. At that time, Mercedes's eyes fell on a small but innovative company from Britain, Yasa. The Yasa company had already started research on the axial flux motor, and their initial prototype proved that this design could change the future. Mercedes saw this as an opportunity, and gradually started supporting Yasa. Finally, in 2019, Mercedes took Yasa completely under its control. This purchase was the most important part of Mercedes' master plan. From the outside it seemed like a normal business deal, but in reality, this was the step that laid the foundation of the Yasa flux engine. Mercedes then gave full funding and research support to Yasa. Over the last 5 to 10 years, millions of dollars were spent on this project, and hundreds of engineers worked day and night to make this engine a reality. The company kept this project so secret that even industry experts could not guess what Mercedes was doing. People just assumed that Mercedes was focusing on its luxury electric cars, but behind the scenes, they were working on an engine that could change the direction of the entire auto industry. The second aspect of this master plan was timing. Mercedes never launched this technology in a hurry. They knew that if an incomplete or weak product came to the market, companies like Tesla and BYD would immediately ridicule it. So Mercedes first tested it thoroughly, did thousands of hours of driving simulations and tested it in every possible situation. Now, when they were completely confident that this engine would be successful, only then did they announce it to the world. This move by Mercedes clearly shows that they have learned a lot from Tesla. Tesla always enters the market with a lot of noise, but Mercedes has kept quiet and made its move at the right time. This is their master plan. Say less, do more. What is the Yasa Flux engine? Think about it. Whenever we talk about cars, the first thing that comes to mind is the engine. Earlier, petrol and diesel engines ruled the roost. Then gradually the era of electric cars came. But now the name that is most discussed is the Yasa Flux engine. Mercedes has revealed it and there is a lot of discussion about it all over the world. But what exactly is this Yasa Flux engine, and why is it considered so special? Let's understand it in very simple and common language. Yasa is actually a British company that worked on the technology of this engine, and later Mercedes took it under its control. Flux means magnetic flux. Whenever a new technology comes to the world, the biggest question people ask is, Will it reach the common people, or will it be limited to the luxury cars of the rich? The same question is being raised today about Mercedes's Yasa Flux engine. From the information that has come out so far, it is clear that the Flux engine will currently be installed only in luxury and high-performance cars. The biggest reason for this is its initial cost. Being a new technology, its production cost is high, 
and companies would like to install it first in those vehicles where the price is already high. But this does not mean that it will always be expensive. As its mass production begins and the research cost is recovered, this engine can also reach affordable cars. So, now let's talk about the challenges of manufacturing. The design of the Flux engine is as unique as it is difficult to make. Companies have been manufacturing ordinary motors for decades, but, honestly, the production of axial flux motors is completely new. It requires very precise magnets and coils, and yeah, it is not easy to connect and balance these machines. Mercedes may have the technology, but if it has to be installed in lakhs of vehicles, then it will have to prepare for mass production. This is the biggest challenge. Along with this comes the stress of raw materials and supply chain. Flux engines require rare earth elements such as neodymium magnets. Their supply is already limited to China and a few other countries. If the demand for flux engines increases, the shortage of these metals may increase further. This will increase prices and put pressure on companies. To deal with this problem, Mercedes will have to find new suppliers, and perhaps also pay more attention to recycling technology. Now the question arises, when and how will the Yasa Flux engine arrive in future cars? Mercedes is currently preparing to bring it in its luxury sports cars and high-performance models. Flux engines can be included in vehicles like their AMG series. Its advantage in SUVs will be that despite being heavy vehicles, the flux engine will give more torque and more power, which will make the driving experience of the SUV even more fun. At the same time, the use of flux engines in sports cars will make them capable of competing with vehicles like Tesla's Model S Plaid. Flux engines can also bring a big change in trucks and commercial vehicles. Heavy vehicles need more power and torque. Flux engines give more power despite being lighter, which means that electric trucks and buses will hit the roads with more range and power than before. If we look at the picture after 2030, then the flux engine can become the new standard of the EV industry. Just like today every company uses lithium-ion batteries in its cars, similarly, in the coming time, every company can move towards motor technology like flux. It is possible that in the coming 7 to 8 years, this technology will become so common that even cheap electric cars will start getting flux engines. The potential of the Yasa Flux engine extends far beyond mere performance metrics. Its true revolution lies in its fundamental design, the axial flux configuration. Unlike the traditional radial flux motors that dominate the current EV market, where the magnetic force radiates outward from the center, an axial flux motor generates force along its axis, parallel to the shaft. This compact, pancake-like design is not only significantly smaller and lighter for the same power output but also drastically more efficient. This leap in efficiency could be the key to solving one of the most persistent challenges in electric mobility range anxiety. By wasting less energy as heat and converting electrical energy to motion more effectively, a vehicle equipped with a Yasa flux engine could travel substantially farther on the same battery pack. Alternatively, automakers could achieve the same range with a smaller, lighter battery, reducing both the cost and the environmental footprint of their vehicles. This efficiency doesn't just apply to cruising, it also means explosive power delivery for acceleration, explaining why high-performance models like the AMG series are its first destination. However, the road to widespread adoption is paved with significant hurdles. The manufacturing complexity of aligning and securing the powerful magnets in such a compact space cannot be understated. While Mercedes has mastered the prototype stage, scaling this to the hundreds of thousands of units required for mass market models is an entirely different challenge. It requires precision engineering at a scale that has never been attempted for this specific motor type. Furthermore, the geopolitical tensions surrounding the supply of rare earth elements, crucial for the powerful permanent magnets in these motors, presents a real risk. Mercedes' strategy will need to be as innovative in securing its supply chain as it was in developing the technology itself, potentially accelerating the development of alternative magnet materials or highly efficient recycling programs for end-of-life motors. The announcement of the Yasa Flux engine is therefore more than just a product launch, it is a strategic declaration. Mercedes is not just competing with Tesla and BYD on battery technology, it is attempting to leapfrog them entirely by redefining the very heart of an electric car, the motor itself. If successful, they could establish a new industry standard, forcing every other manufacturer to play catch-up. If the challenges prove too great, it risks becoming a niche technology for hypercars, leaving the broader EV market unchanged. 
the coming years will be the ultimate test. As the first models equipped with this engine hit the road, every aspect will be scrutinized by engineers, competitors, and consumers alike. Its performance, reliability, and real-world efficiency will determine whether it is truly the next chapter in automotive history or a fascinating footnote. The silence is over. The race for the future of the electric motor has just become louder than ever. But here a big question arises. Is this really the future of the EV industry or just another corporate promise? The history of the auto industry is witness to the fact that many times companies talk big, but their technology does not turn out to be that effective once it enters production and the market. The real test of the flux engine will also be when it is fitted in the vehicles of common customers and run on the roads. So now the decision is yours. Do you believe that the flux engine will really change the future of electric vehicles, or will it fade away like other technologies in a few years? What is your opinion? Do tell us in the comments. And yes, thanks for staying till the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see such amazing and true stories.